Okay, I thought I would show a little string pulling thing that I did after watching a few videos and seeing some things posted on Facebook. And this is one where I cut some ATC size cards, but double the width, so it's five by three and a half, and then put the score line in so I could fold them. And then these can easily be cut apart to layer and make little ATC cards from. So on this particular one here, I dipped the whole thread into the reddish pink watercolor paint and then dipped just the lower part in this purple color. And this is what came out. I thought it looked pretty cool. So, and I'm just using this, like, the stuff you crochet doilies and things with. I used to crochet a lot of doilies, so... I had that brand new full ball, and it's perfect for all kinds of arts and crafts stuff. So, these are the Color Burst watercolor paints, and I use the same palette over and over again because when these paints dry, you can add more water to it, and it just kind of reconstitutes it. So... And after watching a lady do one on YouTube with watercolor paints, I didn't add any more paint to these, so I was just kind of using what was already in the, the little section. I put all of the string except maybe the bottom inch just for leaving outside of the folded piece and get it saturated. And then she showed... Pulling it through your fingers to remove the, the really excess so it wasn't so drippy. And I will put part of it in the green just for the heck of it and because I didn't want to have to fool with getting any other colors out. So let's see if I can do, do this again. And every one is always different because it really depends on where the, the string ends up laying. <gasps> Very pretty. I like that. Then you could go back. You could add a little bit of, like, stencil background around it. Layer on a, a word or some die cuts or something. That's pretty cool. Okay, I will do another one using this purple color. The purple in that color burst is like super intense. I did one the other day just playing around and I used just the blue, but you could use any watercolor paints. I actually used a, a different watercolor paint on the one that I did from the other day, but this just happened to be sitting over there, and I thought, well, why not? And I do recommend having a wet rag <laughs> beside you. So I'm going to try tipping this one just in some blue, just to see what kind of blend I get out of it. Kind of, we'll see if this one will do. Oh, didn't want to do two loops, did it? Come on, let's do two. There we go. Now, let's see what this one does. Well, the blue didn't really show up, but that purple is super cool. And probably this purple was the most intense because I had been using it to color cardstock flowers that I really wanted to use a, a purple on. I was making little wisteria things. So that is probably the reason that it was so intense. Okay, I've got one more of these. So let's do, let's see. No, let's just go with the blue. and see how it does. And, come on. Get that excess off of there. 
then I'm going to attempt to put this yellow from where the blue ends because there wasn't much yellow left so it's not really going to be that defined but I just want to play and let's see what this one will do and I figure for just using watercolor <gasps> very pretty very pretty I like that so these are the ones that I did just using these water color burst watercolors and this was where I had played the other day here you can tell I obviously had too much white paint I did not thin it down this was done with a different watercolor paint from a different palette it was actually two watercolors and I thought it turned out pretty good but I didn't really do my string like I should have as far as like kind of squeezing off the excess this was white acrylic paint where I did squeeze off the excess and did it a second time and it turned out a whole lot better then this was let's see this was the first black one and then this was the second black just on the white so and these were acrylic paint I just put a little paint and a well and added some water to thin it some so I just thought I would show y'all that pretty neat